Hi, friends. Uh, thanks for uh, taking a moment to click the link and join me for uh, just a couple of minutes as I give you some updates today. Uh, we're so grateful for God's strength as we have moved through the COVID-19 era, trusting that it's now mostly behind us, although we know it's not totally behind us. But I want to just say thank you for being so faithful to Jesus and his church as we as we all learn to adjust and readjust and readjust. Now, uh, today I have three key prayer requests for our church family as we continue to grow and move back into a more normal church posture. First, that God would show us his next steps for where we can find a more permanent church home. Uh, we're grateful indeed for the rugby club, but we don't see this as our permanent solution. So pray for uh, a church place, a location that would be more permanent for us. Second, we're praying for a part-time youth pastor for Southwest Community Church. We're just beginning the search, but we really invite you to put this need on your prayer list. We have a lot of youth in our Southwest family, and we want to be there for them. And we see a pipeline that's coming along of new kids that are going to be coming into those junior high, senior high years. So uh, would you be praying for a part-time youth pastor? And third, we pray that each of our church family would serve as bridges to invite people to be part of the Southwest Growing Family. Each one of us can make a difference by inviting others so that more and more can discover the life-changing news of who Jesus really is. So let's ask God to touch our hearts and lead us so that His love and life permeate who we are as His people. Uh, and thank Southwest for your faithfulness and financial giving in this first uh, six months of 2022. We're nearly at the conclusion of our first budget, our first six month budget. We do have a ways to travel yet, uh, but at the same time, I want to say thank you for the way that this is deep in your heart to pray and bless this ministry. So would you be in prayer that as we continue and we come to these closing days of our first uh, six month budget, that through his people, God would meet all of our needs to his glory. And a reminder as well today that on the very last Sunday of this month, we will witness the baptism of four people. Uh, we have a new baptismal tank that we just purchased, so we're going to uh, have it in place at the back of the rugby club. And uh, when our service is over, then we're going to bring out the barbecue that Sunday so we can really enjoy some great community time as friends uh, in the family of God. So thanks for praying for that day. It's going to be very special uh, as we witness the baptism of these four individuals. And to him we will give the glory, great things uh, he has done. I'm grateful for each of you and blessed to be your pastor. May you continue to experience the joy of the Lord in your heart as you walk with him day by day. As Paul said, if God is for us, who can be against us? So God bless you and keep you, my friends. Take good care.